Now, this is the we're going to do the install of the probe and the comm tower. The first thing I do before taking anything out to the field, even before I drill the hole, is I test the comm tower to make sure it'll turn on and make sure it'll find the probe. In another video, you'll see how to assemble the probe and the comm tower. The power plug goes in this side over here above the label. There's five prongs there. The probe only has four prongs, so it can only go on this side. Firmware version 16. That's the probe turn or the comm tower turning on. Now we just gotta see if it'll find the probe. Searching for probe. So we found the probe, so we're good to go, good to put it in the field. First we'll install the probe. I have a hole drilled that is in another video, and the slurry already made. We'll take the slurry, dump some down the hole. Work the probe in the hole. As you see, you'll see the slurry start to come up out of the hole. That's what you want. And it'll get hard to push down. And work it around like that. And even to tell that you have a good slurry, it'll coat the probe perfectly like that. That's how you know it's a good one. You can push it back in. That'll get the air bubbles out. You can work it around. You don't want any air in there. Take my shovel here and just scoop away any of this extra slurry here. And then I'll throw some dirt around it. Try to make it look like nothing even happened here. So the animals and everything will leave it alone. Once that's done, Come over here. Let's have a T post. I go about five steps from the probe. Just five normal stuff. Right in here. Some people put it in the row or the middle of the row. It's your preference. Once that is done. We'll attach this white extension pole here to the T-post. Pretty simple, just two hose clamps. And I have a drill, and all these hose clamps are 5 16 So a drill with a 5 16 bit on it. And just tighten them down. here coil it and I'll plug it into the if you're looking at the back of the comm tower it's the right side you twist it until it slides in there and there's a lock here and lock it in that way it won't come unplugged during the season. And you'll take the power plug and go on the other side. Lock it in. Then I'll hold the solar panel up against my chest to black it out. And that helps reset the comm tower and it'll turn on faster. Firmware version. As you can see, it takes a little while to turn on sometimes. And you have another hose clamp on this bracket here that you can see how to do in another video. You run it down this pole with a zip tie on top. So right there. Searching for probe. Tighten the zip tie while it's going through its phase. And you come here. 
Probe detected. See, I have the comm tower facing the south. I'll loosen this up. Depending on the crop, you may or may not have to raise it. In corn, you have to raise it. I go up to where I can reach like that. You don't want to go too high and get it knocked down by the pivot. And tighten that back up. And then they take a few zip ties. And then I run it. If you pretend there's a crop here, I run it right down as tight up against the crop as I can, the row. Try and hide it as much as possible. Then I'll put it tied up against that. Maybe let a little slack in it. And zip tie at the bottom here. GPS time check. Then you have all this extra. GPS time acquired. GPS location check. No. Wrap up. Location acquired. Sometimes it doesn't cooperate. It doesn't really matter how you do it. As long as you get it, I usually go right here about at the top of the T-post. And I'll run another zip tie around it. Network attach successful. I get about 11 inch zip ties. You can go longer. I wouldn't go any shorter than 11 though. Network. Signal RSSI 86. So RSSI is just the network cell phone or the, the service it has. And then I'll run another one up here and I'll keep some slack between this last zip tie and where it's Data plugged in. Connection established. That helps if anything hits the comm tower, Server it connection will help established. not unplug it. Keep it plugged in. There we go. Data upload successful. And then when you hear that, you're good to go and you can go run the install through Service Buy. When you, before you leave the field, I would take down the number off of the comm tower. If you can see that, it's this eight, this is the serial number. It always starts with an eight on the comm towers. It's 847158. I'll write that down. And then you have it written down so you can run it through Service Buy.